YouTube, this your boy Down Low back with another industry top. In an interview with Cy High the Prince, he released information about Good Music Fridays is coming back for 2014. And you know what? That's what's up. The last one, they released a whole lot of really good music and such, man, that I actually enjoyed to listen to. My only thing was they were releasing songs off of the albums that they were releasing. Therefore ruining entire albums for me to keep it 100. I'm hoping they have just a ton of material that they were not going to release on albums anyway that they are just going to consistently drop. But I wouldn't bet on it man. I would bet on it being pretty damn similar to the last time. Next, DJ Paul came out and said that he's taking the casket of Lord Infamous on tour with them. And that's a bit weird, my dude. Like, you gotta ask yourself, what kind of show are you putting on if you're going to bring the casket of Lord Infamous? I mean, what's wrong with just having a moment of silence for each city that you go to? You don't have to bring the casket. And the last thing I want to talk about, man, did you guys see Barack Obama put in a place something called My Brother's Keeper Initiative. Now what this is, is financed by a whole bunch of foundations. It's pretty much establishing a task force to help protect young children of color. They're going to have a website and such in which what they're supposed to be doing is establishing good health care and establishing good education. But the main thing I want to focus on is suggesting changes in legislation. And which that's big, but it's not that great. I mean, there's a huge difference between suggesting change and actually doing the shit. Because, well, shit, I could suggest to you that since, especially since weed is becoming legal, man, that a lot of these people incarcerated over drugs, all of the drugs, need to be fucking released. Seeing as though the vast majority of them are minorities. I mean, I definitely like the thought of this man, but I'll definitely need to see it actually in action to see what changes it actually does. And I'm going to tell you exactly why Barack did this. And, and it's not because he's black. It's because of human rights. See, the United States is going to try to enforce human rights on a bunch of other countries out there. Especially with Russia invading places and shit, you dig? So in order for them to save face and actually be able to enforce any kind of human rights on anybody else, they kind of have to start treating us good. I mean, they've been getting slapped around a lot in the world media for treating us as shitty as they have been and seeing a whole bunch of murderers like Zimmerman get off. See, people can get away with murdering our kids and not go to jail for it because there's no one out there that's actually supporting us on a higher level. Like anybody within our community that makes it up the ranks, they usually start looking out for themselves. But you look at other races, you look at like the Jews. If anybody were to just talk reckless about Jews or something, they got a bunch of motherfuckers with money that's going to blackball them from whatever industry that they are in. We don't have that shit. Therefore, they prey on us all the fucking time. All we do is fucking march and that shit doesn't do anything. But here's the main reason why I'm talking about this, man. Because, you know, Fox News, whenever Barack does anything, they have to go completely against it. What do they do? They slam rappers. Bill O'Reilly, of course, in true racist fashion, said it's all Kanye and Jay-Z and this gangster rap man that's making these children do this. Not the forced government oppression brought on by Ronald Reagan. That's still in effect right now. Let's keep it 100. Life affects music. Not the other way around. People don't turn to crime because it's cool. People turn to crime because it's a way to make a living. 